CSAT paper 2023 <clears throat> it had a lot of shocks <laughs> hello so this uh, CSAT paper 2023 <clears throat> it had a lot of shocks it was a bit unconventional it was a bit kind of deviation from the standard expected version of UPSC CSAT paper. The reason is the standard of questions is slightly on a higher side. And uh, the second thing is uh, there is no any fixed criteria like generally time and work, men and days, pipes and systems, profit loss, percentage age. Like there are various kind of uh, mix up. No? So that mix up was not there in CSAT 2023 paper. Most of the quants were from numericals, permutation combinations, right? And only very few, very countable, I, I, I think like even I, I would like to say there is nothing much of syllogism, logical reasoning, figures. No, nothing, 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 nothing and passages were small but the question and options the combinations one and two two and three that kind of framing was a bit different from the previous year papers so, so based on the analysis which i did with respect to csat paper 2023 i would like to say <coughs> the csat paper is taking its new course of evolution and it is going high in terms of standards and it's becoming bit 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 more tougher right fine so that being the case even i had a few complaints from aspirants the numbers the numericals questions based on numbers were very difficult right fine see as far as csat is concerned one thing you should keep in mind <coughs> you should practice hell number of problems variety of problems you should get exposed to only when you get exposed to varieties, you will learn the micro level nuances of solving this CSAT problems. And I am going to here solve two problems from CSAT paper 2023 to show you how simple it is. Though the framing was slightly on a higher standard side, but the solution is very simple. But still, due to lack of practice, due to lack of exposure to the variety of questions, most of the aspirants found the CSAT paper to be very tough, right? Fine. Now, we'll take up two problems. I'll solve two problems in each videos in future. So now I'm going to take up two problems from CSAT paper 2023, right? Fine. Now, problem number one. <coughs> if P, Q, R and S are distinct single digit positive numbers, then what is the greatest value of P plus Q into R plus S? Options given are 230, 225, 224, 221. Right? Fine. <clears throat> See, it is mentioned that P, Q, R, S are distinct single digit positive numbers. Right? Fine. Now, what is the greatest value? So, to have the greatest value, we must take the maximum values for P, Q, R, S. So, that is very simple logic. Now, let us go by that simple logic, right? So that is 9 plus 8 into 6 plus 7. That is 17 into 13, which is 221. Now, see, this 221 is in option D, right? Now, I am going to have small variations. Now you listen, the second variation what I did is 16 into 14, 16 into 14 is again 224, then 15 into 15, so that is 9 plus 6, 8 plus 7, 9 plus 7, 8 plus 6, right? 15 into 15 is 225 and the only option left over is 230A, but for 230 there is no combination available. We just, uh, we just calculate like this approximately 9 plus 8 17 then again like 6 plus 7 13 we have done the maximum we have maximum values we are given the maximum values but uh, 230 combo is not at all working out also 
So the best possible answer is 225. That is the greatest value this P plus Q into R plus S can have, right? So this is very simple. Even without using pen paper calculation, you can solve it. That's very simple, right? Next problem you see. Each digit of a nine digit number is one. It is multiplied by itself. What is the sum of the digits of the resulting number? Right? Fine. See, nine digit number and value of each digit is one. That means See, for this problem, you will have to identify one pattern. See, you know 11 into 11, 121. Then 111 into 111, 1, 2, 3. Then from the back also, 1, 2, 3. That is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Similarly, 1111, 4 ones into 4 ones. If you multiply, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this pattern goes like this. So, for 9 ones, it will go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. From the back also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? Now, you will have to find the sum of the digits. Right? It's very simple. See, now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you sum up. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you sum up. When you sum up, you get 36. Again, from the reverse, another 36. 36 plus 36, 72. And mid, there is 1, 9. So, you get 81. It's very simple. See, most of the problems are very simple only. Only thing is application and the exposure to the variety is the major lagging part for many of the aspirants. So, please do practice more number of variety of problems. Get yourself exposed to that. So only when you get exposure to variety, you will get more variety of problems. Only when you get yourself exposed to variety of problems, such kind of things will come to your mind spontaneously. See that spontaneous. This is this is this is called spontaneity in thought process. Immediately after seeing a problem, some kind of spontaneity should sparkle in your mind. So that sparkle will come only with practice, right? So otherwise, as a faculty, I find. Uh, this paper is not a very tough paper, at least decent kind of manageable paper to get good cut off. But still, from the aspirants point of view, yes, most of the aspirants found this paper very tough. And in fact, that is the evolving trend with respect to this CSAT paper for the UPSC civil services exam. Nothing much to worry. Uh, you just get yourself exposed to variety, do practice more problems, definitely things will be easy for you and as I always used to say quants and reasoning are the <coughs> key tools in getting the required cutoff because comprehension is slightly not dependable uh, slightly tough in fact I would say because uh, most of the comprehensions are like uh, not very direct uh, indirect and uh, most subjectivity is there right so quants and reasoning is easy if you practice more variety of problems right again in the next video we'll try to solve another two problems very easily right wish you all the very best thank you